Hi there, my name is Callum Thompson. I'm a learning support officer for the Business School MMU. Um, this short video is going to demonstrate one of the really kind of basic fundamental processes that all staff find that they want to do with Moodle. And that's how they can upload and share files with students. And the files could be Word documents, they could be PowerPoint slides, it could be spreadsheets, more or less any type of file that we want to share with our students. Now to do this, it's a two-step process. But what we do is we create a resource on our main page in the centre column, which is just around here, um, underneath each of the weeks, and we give it a name. And then what we do is we go into a file manager, and we either choose a file that's already there, or we upload a new file and choose it, and link the two together. So we have to create um, a link, such as this one here, and then behind that we need to link it up to a file. Um, and then that gives us this process where students can then click on the link, and then they get the file. Um, but don't worry, it's not as complicated as it might sound. Um, to do that, what we do is we click this Turn Editing On button. And you'll see that when we do that, we have this kind of accordion effect where lots of new tools pop out. Um, I'm just going to add the file just in this top week zero area. Um, but you would add the file into the specific week using the drop-down menu at the bottom of it. Um, from the Add a Resource drop-down, I'm just going to select link to a file or website. And this takes me through into this kind of generation page. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call it demo file. Um, we can give it a summary. Now there's an aggregated list of all the resources that we put into Moodle which students can access from the activities block on the right, on the left hand side, sorry. Um, and that's where this summary is displayed. So this summary could be, this is a demo file. Sorry, I'm not feeling too imaginative this afternoon. Um, we then scroll down, and this is the important bit here, the link to a file or website. Now, if we wanted to link to a website such as Google, we could put that in here, and that would mean that the link, which displays in the center column, which says demo file, if the student clicked on that, it would actually take them to the Google website. However, we don't want to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to choose or upload a file because we want to share a Word document with them. So we'll click choose or upload a file, and this takes us into our file manager. Now I'm just going to maximize this so we can see it properly. And within this file manager, I'm going to upload a file. It then asks me, it gives me a maximum upload size of 100 megabytes, and I'm going to find my file by clicking the browse button, and that takes me into my file browser for, the, for my computer. Um, you can see that on my desktop here I have this document 1 and I'm going to open that and it sticks up the extension to the file into this box here, it tells me that that's the file that I'm going to upload and then I just click upload this file and after a second it pops up in my file manager again and you'll see that here's this document 1 okay so this is now in the file manager, this is now up in Moodle but students can't see this yet because we've not attached it what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this Choose button and it takes me back into my generation page but you'll see that what we've done by choosing it sticks in the name and the extension of this file so now Moodle knows that when a student clicks on the link that's going to generate for this demo file it goes away and it finds this dependent on this location it finds this file and gives them this file so we'll just scroll down and I'm going to save and return to course I'll just turn off my editing and now you'll see we've got this link which says demo file it's got a little word document it's picked up this word document but it says demo file and if I click on that I get a pop-up window and it offers me the word document to open or to save so that's how we upload files and share them with students